Hi, welcome to another episode of WSO2 Open Talk. Joining us today, we have Ayodhya, who is part of WSO2's research team. Ayodhya's research work mainly focuses on machine learning, but she's here today to talk a bit about AI-based data mapping. Hi, Ayodhya. Welcome to the show and thank you for joining us. So, can you tell us a bit about what is data mapping? So, data mapping is basically uh, mapping attributes of two data elements. The process of mapping attributes of two elements. For example, if we take API connectors, if someone need to get data from one API connector and send it to another API connector, we have to match the attributes of two schemas. So there we need data mapping. Okay. And uh, why do we need to automate this? So as I said before, that in data mapping, we have to match from one element to the another element. So there can be numerous uh, attributes in one schema. So it can be a tedious task to do this manually, which is the conventional way. So the trend of the world is to do this automatically so the software developers and other developers can have a uh, good life. Okay. And so what are some of the challenges we face when automating this? Um, actually, uh, most of the time when we see the uh, attribute names, uh, there is no conventional way to name these attributes. For example, someone can take field of uh, field of ID number and say it is ABC or field 1. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't make sense what the content of the field. So if you only consider the name of the uh, attribute, it's very hard to map with the other fields. So uh, and, and along those same lines, so what are some of the existing methods to do this? So as I said, one is matching with name mm -hmm. and there are other methods like comparing the content and some feature extraction methods. Uh, so basically the most popular way is uh, uh, currently is mapping with name. And so what's new in our method? So in our method, not only the name, but we consider the content. We analyze it with ma in mathematical ways as well as using technologies like uh, word embedding and machine learning techniques so that we can get understanding about what this attribute contain. For okay. example, it's, it's a work of natural language. We have to think how the people think. Okay. So uh, what we are trying with these uh, features and word embedding is to uh, understand this feature and then map what to the most suitable, most compatible field. Okay. And, and why does WSO2 need this? So uh, maybe as you all know that there is integration studio software in WSO2. Mm -hmm. So there is already a data mapper connector in that software where programmers have to upload two schemas and do the mapping manually. So we have implemented this AI feature in that uh, application which we would be released in near future so that you only have to upload two schemas and then press the mapping button so you can get the mapping automatically. Okay. Do you have a demo to show us or? Uh, yes, I have a demo. This is. So here you can see the integration studio uh, developing uh, environment so we put a data mapper connected there and create a dummy uh, root so when you go to the configurations of this data mapper mediator uh, Here you can upload your two schemas in the respective box. So I just upload two simple schemas. And then press mapping button. So when you press the button, you can get the map mappings automatically. Thank you Ayodhya for joining the show. It was great having you with us. Thank you. We hope this episode was helpful and you can check the description for related resources and watch this space for more interesting discussions. Thanks.